Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome back to our Fixed Stat Super Rush Channel 13, where today we have three builders available. We got a decent amount of loot. Uh, we don't have a laboratory, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, but we do got some big, big stuff to do today. So let's go and jump right into the episode and see what I'm thinking about getting done. So we have basically a new season is going to be coming in, what, nine days? Nine and a half days, right? And I still have a Rune of Gold, or not a Rune of Gold, I have a Rune of Dark Elixir and a Rune of Elixir. So I have, you know, two runes of pretty big stuff, right? And mainly what we've been, what we've been using those, you know, Rune of Elixir on is either the Warden or getting something in the lab because I have nothing else to do with Elixir, right? We have nothing else to do with the Elixir. So my, my plan for today, we have some pretty big upgrades, but before we do that, um... I do have some miners, so we can actually go out and get easy loot. I'm trying to think about what what kind of loot that I have. I got 2,400 right there as far as dark elixir. I'm really focusing on dark elixir today because we have two heroes up. Well, we have, technically we have three heroes up, but basically I don't really have a whole lot of gold. You don't really have a whole lot of gold right now. Now, of course, I could go ahead and do this mortar, or I could do, you know, even the next mortar level six, right? But I'm kind of... I'm preparing for Clan War League. Now, Clan War League is going to be in about nine days, right? Each one of these heroes is about six days. So this might be the final upgrade that I'll be able to do before Clan War League. So what I'm thinking is do the heroes now, and then, you know, when they wake up, basically I'll be able to, you know, start working on defenses during CWL because I'm not going to be able to do those heroes during CWL. So my plan for today, I said CWL like a million times right there. My plan for today is to get all three heroes down. Now, Collapse, how are you going to do this? Well, if you calculate the queen, she's 80,000. King is 72,000. Put those together, 152,000 Dark Elixir. Now, we're at 146k. I could collect my treasury. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because that'll get me just a little bit more Dark Elixir, right? So, that puts us to 148k. Which means I need to go out and get 4,000 Dark Elixir. If we can find 4,000 Dark Elixir, maybe even find some really, really good, like, Elixir and Gold. You know, we could probably just upgrade a couple walls. And then we can get all of our heroes upgraded at the same time. Which is great! Because if you think about it, the Road Champion knows she's six days, right? The other heroes are about four days. So, doing multiple heroes at once is actually really efficient. Because... Think about it this way, you are doing, like, right now we're doing three heroes, so we're doing three heroes at the same amount of time just about that it would take to do just one hero at a time. So it's actually very efficient for us to do all of them at the same time. Now this base has an insane amount of loot. We've got two storages, three storages, we've got some collectors, we got a dark elixir drill there. There is the dark elixir storage right there, but what I plan to do is there's a drill right there. We only need 4,000. We don't need all 7,000, so we're going to hit this base. We're going to hit the opposite side because there's a lot of other loot on this side. And we should pretty much be able to just decimate all of this on this side. Get most of the loot. Not really going to worry about those balloons because, you know, I'm not really trying to three-star. I'm not really trying to get any more trophies. I don't really want to go up in trophies anymore because I'm already pretty high in trophies. So if I can actually just go ahead and freeze all of these balloons, they can leave me alone. And then miners, if they can get that dark elixir drill up there, that would be great. If not, I will just drop my queen up there or something like that. That'd be easy. So there we go. There's the miners. That put us at 150k. So we are going to have to hit that drill over there, which is fine. I've got my archer queen for a reason. Good thing we didn't do her before the episode, right? Or before we started doing the raids. So, yeah, let's see if we can snipe the 2,000 off of here. And pop the queen's ability. So we are still just a wee bit short. I'm going to go ahead and end the raid there. Going to go ahead and end the raid. So that put us at... Oh, did it. We did it. We got 152,000 because of the loot bonus. I forgot about the loot bonus. So let's go ahead and do the queen. Actually, no, wait. Oh, man. They're both awake. And they're not taking any damage. So it's kind of sucks. But we need to go ahead and get them upgrading ne using miners don't necessarily need the heroes i didn't really use them there except you know and of course to get that little bit of dark elixir so let's go do the queen she's actually going to be going to level 39 which is almost town hall 10 max 
We need one more level to go for Town Hall 10 max on the Arch Queen. So let's go do this. Four days, 80,000 Dark Elixir and kaboom. Very nice. So right now we have... We got a day upgrade. We got a three and a half kind of. And we got a four day. So these are kind of, you know, together. Which is, it's not the best thing, but it's it's okay. We'll have both of our heroes done relatively around the same time. Let's go ahead and get the Barbarian King as well. Going to level 38. So he's got two more levels. Where he's Town Hall 10 max. Four days, same amount of time. 72,000 and kaboom. So like I said, they're going to finish same time, same time, around the same time. So that's or for the uh, the Grand Warden. So basically, we're getting three levels on the heroes rather than just, you know, one Archer Queen level, right? We're getting three levels on different heroes, which is great. That is probably the most efficient way to do it. So I still have an army of miners, which means I can actually spend a little bit more Dark Elixir. And we have 179 Dark Elixir. I just used 176 of it. That's the most Dark Elixir I believe I can spend. So I'm left with three Dark Elixir. That's about as close as it gets. I almost collected those collectors. I'm so used to just collecting them. But I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead. Use this Rune of Dark Elixir. It's going to get me 299,997 Dark Elixir. Almost as much as I can possibly get, right? Boom. There we go. We have max Dark Elixir, which means I can now upgrade my Royal Champion to level 24. Now, you're probably thinking, when are we going to get this Royal Champion to 25? The 25 is max for Town Hall 13. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. Let's go ahead and get this upgrade going. Six days, nine hours, 232,000 Dark Elixir, and kaboom. So we now have four builders going on all four of our heroes. We have nothing but heroes going except for that expo. That expo is still going. So probably next episode, we'll start working on maybe that last expo again. Get, we'll probably do that mortar as well and then work on something else. So that's probably the plan on that. But let's talk about getting that Royal Champion to 25. Like I talked about earlier, we have Clan War League coming out, which means Clan War League medals. Even if we don't win or, you know, do the best, we still get some medals, right? I only need 15 medals. Of course, we're going to get about 200-something medals, depending on where we place. But I will be able to buy a Hammer of Heroes and get the Royal Champion to level 25. That's the plan. We're going to get this Royal Champion maxed uh, after CWL. So about another you know week or two, that's probably when we'll get her maxed. Because during CW CWL... I will not be able to upgrade heroes. I don't want to upgrade heroes during CWL because I need heroes for my war raids, right? So if you want to come watch live action uh, on my CWL attacks, definitely come tune into my live streams. They're every day, basically, Monday through Saturday. I don't stream on Sundays, uh, but Monday through Saturday, 4 p.m. Central Time on Facebook Gaming and on Twitch. Definitely come tune into that. It's a lot of fun. Link will be in the description for both of those, depending on you know which one you want to go to. Uh, but yeah, we do all my war attacks. I'll have my 14 in there. If you want to see some Town Hall 14 gameplay, go check out my live streams as well. Uh, but yeah, that's when I'll be able to max out my Royal Champion. I'll be able to get the Grand Warden to level 25, which is also going to be awesome. Archer Queen's going to be going to level 40. We're getting very close to getting, you know, Town Hall 10 as far as King and Queen. Uh, we got a little bit of ways to go to go for Town Hall 12 max uh, Grand Warden. He's already Town Hall 11, but beyond Town Hall 11 max. And then as far as the Royal Champion, she only goes to level 25. So we're doing really good on that. Doing really well on Heroes as far as we've almost been doing this series for a year. And we've, we've kind of come a long way. I mean, we have come a long way, but I'm talking about like Heroes, right? We've been mainly focusing on Heroes. We've been doing some defenses in between and stuff like that. But we've, we've been doing a lot of levels on Heroes. Lots of levels on Heroes. So I forgot to leave a Builder or Walls. I forgot to leave a builder for walls, but we can still go out and get some more loot. We do have that expo coming available in about a day and some odd hours. So probably, what is it, 2 o'clock? So tomorrow around, like, bedtime. <laughs> tomorrow around bedtime, I will be able to, you know, probably do another upgrade. I might not do another upgrade because it's so close to me being able to do another episode. So probably just wait and have that builder free maybe do it on like another tesla or something if i have time but we're gonna go and hit this base it's got tons of loot it's kind of a dead base i mean it's got the eagles being upgraded that in front so it's not a dead base but it's an it's being an upgraded base 
which is still good as well, because that means a bunch of the big boy defenses are not, you know, they're not needing to hit my troops, right? So we're going to go ahead and freeze that. We got the town hall, and let's see what we can do. Miners, come on. You guys are you guys are a lot faster now. Let's go ahead and heal right here because that's a big problem area. And let's go ahead and heal in the core here because, you know, we could probably get some more loot over here. So don't have any heroes. All we have is miners. It's still a good way to farm. It's still a very, very good way to farm. So we're just going to let these guys go. Next episode, we're going to have one, probably one builder. Probably going to have one builder for the next episode, which is okay. I just got to get a lot more loot. I gotta get a lot, lot more loot for next episode because, I mean, we're probably, eh, I don't know. I do definitely want to do some more walls, but I definitely want to be able to do, like, maybe that expo, that last expo to town height 11 max. That would be also be awesome. So, we're just gonna let these miners take a few more swings at this elixir, and there we go. Easy. Easy 700,000 elixir, plus loot bonus, 800,000 elixir, over 600,000, almost 700,000 gold. That was really good. That was a really, really good raid. Plus, we got some more treasury loot. So, I didn't have to use the treasury loot today. Or, yes, I did. I collected that. I totally forgot. So, I did. I did have to use that. So, that's good. Replenish what we already used, right? So, we did get all of our builders going. Next episode, like I said, this expo is going to be done. We'll probably try to get enough loot to get that expo going as well. Then, we'll be all Town Hall 11 max as far as expos go. So, that's good. Uh, but I believe that that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series. If you are, make sure to leave a like on the videos. I'd greatly appreciate that. Leave a comment down below on what you guys have liked most about this series. You know, how far we've come. We're coming up on a year. We might have to do something big. Might have to do something big for that year episode. But yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, guys. Make sure you get that bell turned on for notifications to know exactly when my videos do go live. Also, like I said, coming out my live streams, tons of fun. I got seven accounts, including this one. So definitely come tune in to all different types of attack strategies. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love each and every one of you guys. Be safe out there, and I will see you all next time.